Hey, all praise to the Most High Yahuwah from whom all blessings flow. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Thank the Most High Yahuwah for being alive on today and looking at my family. They're doing the same. Hallelujah. Thank Yah for his son, Yahushua, who died for the sins of Yahshua, his Ruach Hakadesh, the one who leads and guides us in all truth and seals us unto the day of redemption. I praise his name. I bless his name. I honor his name. I baruch his name. Hallelujah. I esteem his name above measure. There is none like the Most High Yahuwah. There is no other Elohim out here like him. All the ones that are made are man-made and they're false and they're phony. They can't see. They can't hear. They can't talk. They can't do any miracles. They are nothing but man-made idols. Thank the Most High Yahuwah for waking us up to the truth of who we are as his people, the Hebrew Israelites. I want you to sit back today and enjoy this lesson. I pray that you receive something from it. Today's title is Don't Fall for the Foolery with These Raccoons. Somebody need to get a hint and understand what I'm talking about. It's some stuff going on in the land, and these raccoons are in charge, and they're doing some stuff out here that they shouldn't be doing. They always handpick these people to say things to us and to keep us in a stupor. But the Most High, Yahuwah, is breaking and destroying every yoke, every hindrance, and every abundance that we can see clear and move forward in Him. Hallelujah, in Yahushua's name. Hallelujah. I pray that you enjoy this lesson. I pray that you get the insight. The set apart scripture says in the book of 2 Corinthians, the 10th chapter, though we walk in the flesh, we don't war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yah to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yah, bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach to our obedience is ready to be fulfilled. I love you guys. Keep the faith. Stand still and see the salvation of Yah. Shalom. Hey, Shalom. Thanks. All praise to the Most High Yahuwah from whom all blessings and benefits flow. The Most High is awesome in all his ways and his doings. Thank the Most High Yahuwah for his son, Yahushua, the one who died for the sins of Joshua, the Ruach Hakadesh, the set-apart spirit, the one who leads and guides us into all truth. I want to say thank the Most High for keeping me alive and waking up on this day just to see another day. And the same goes for my family. And I pray that the same is going for you and your family. Look, saints, don't get caught up and all the hoopla and all the chaos that's going on in the land. It's a bunch of hoopla, a bunch of chaos. They, they, Some of this stuff they're doing on purpose to get an arousal out of people, to get people riled up, to get people fearful, get people afraid. They pick random folks that they attack, random folks that they do things to, and they, they do things based off of their agenda and plan that they have against not only the Hebrews, but the rest of the people throughout this world because, listen, it's a warfare that we're in. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. The scripture says in 2 Corinthians, the 10th chapter says, Though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Y'all hear that? For the weapons of our warfare is not carnal weapons. Going back and forth to the flesh, to the spirit. Flesh, to the spirit. We don't deal in carnality. We don't wrestle like that. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yah until they're pulling down the strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yah, bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach to our obedience is ready to be fulfilled. The set apart scriptures say that our light afflictions are but for a moment. But they work for us a far more exceeding and eternal way to glory. The things you're going through, the set apart scripture call a light affliction. A light affliction. That means you're not I having I not went through uh, undue harsh treatment or persecution. Uh, these things are light afflictions. Even in that, they were called a light affliction even for the saints that went through because they counted not themselves worthy to partake and the glory that Yah has set aside for us. So they counted themselves not worthy. They said in the book of Romans, I reckon that the suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. Saints, look, this is warfare. When I say don't get caught up in stuff, I turned the light off for a minute. Too many people being nosy. <laughs> I turn it back on. It's better when it's on. But uh, but people are being nosy passing by. So I say, get out of my face, man. I'm trying to talk to my, to my family. 
Look, but I want to praise y'all with you, saints. Let's praise y'all together. Let's magnify his name. Let's exalt his name. Let's esteem his name. Look, he said, Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on him. You got to keep your mind on him. Keep your mind, your thought, your processes on him. He said, finally, brother, what sort of things are true? What sort of things are honest? Now, we quote that in our house, but we also say this at the end of each one of those uh, uh, sections of the scripture. Finally, brother, what sort of things are true? Yah. Honest, yah, just, yah, pure, yah, lovely, yah. What else, what sort of things are of good report? If there be any virtue, there be any pray. Think on those things. And those things that you both learned, heard, seen, and received in me, do. And the Elohim of uh, Yahuwah shall be with you. Saints, we got the Most High on our side. If he be for us, who can be against us? That's Romans 8 and 31. If he is for you, who can be against you? Don't let this crazy chaos, look man, uh, get a hold of you. I'm telling you right now, I know it's chaotic. I know it's crazy. I'm watching this political arena, all this mess that's going on. These people making promises left and right and won't carry nothing out. They're not going to carry nothing out. They've been making promises for years. The deal is they wanted you to stay blind. They want you to stay blind. They want you to stay lost in the sauce. Matter of fact, we don't have no dog or no cat or no chicken in the election. Y'all told the Hebrew Israelites that we can't set nobody over us unless he handpicked them as a Hebrew Israelite over you. We only can put Hebrew Israelites over us. You haven't got anything done, no matter who they put in office. White, brown, light skin, close to dark skin, they ain't did nothing. Haven't done a thing. Let me say it like that. They have done nothing for us as a people. Anybody else get hate crimes against them? They put a law in effect. What law have they put in for effect for you? We've been going through this stuff way longer than anyone else in this land. Nothing in effect for us. You notice they keep skipping over us, jumping over us. Our trust got to go back to being in the Most High Yahuwah. He is our king. He is our sustainer. He is our rearranger. He is our help. He is our shield, our buckling, and our sword. Sword. That's who you need to put your trust in, Yah, the Most High Yah. Not no man or no woman. They can't fix nothing. They're not going to fix you. They want you to stay dumbed down, watered down. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? They don't want you to know that they playing a game with you. That's why this awakening is important. W uh, important. Waking up back to your Hebrew heritage. Wake up, Yasharel. Wake up, Yasharel. Wake up, Yasharel. You got to wake up now. You got to do it now. Wake up, saints. Don't be fooled by the same gimmicks, schemes, and plan. Ain't nothing going back to normal what you used to seeing. It ain't going back that way. They doing this stuff on purpose. Remember, these are Lucifer's people. Lucifer agenda. The scripture says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness, where? In high places, in different uh, legislative, uh, judicial uh, uh, capacities, people in high places, different in, in the highest office in the land. That's where the spiritual wickedness in high places is. Don't be fooled because you see this music industry showing you their hand. But guess what? They all in cahoots together. They serve Lucifer. That's why ain't nobody saying nothing about it. They sorcerers. They witchcraft. Operating in witchcraft. Sorcery. It's a diabolical plot to keep this witchcraft net over the people of Yah, and Yah ain't having it it's breaking off of us and that's why they going crazy because we can't take it no more ain't nobody planning on doing nothing crazy we just ain't taking it no more we coming back to our identity that's what we coming back to that's what we gonna do that's what we're gonna fight to do stand on our identity and serve the most high Yah in spirit and in truth we are Yah's people you ain't got to go out there and make no scene. You want to just start stuff. and uh, No, no, no. Man, let me tell you something. People want to go out there and do all this picketing and protesting. Let me tell you something. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked way, then will I hear from heaven and I will heal the land. Not this land. This land ain't going to be healed. He, he coming after this land. I'm talking about the land, that's the land of Israel, but he, we want him to heal that land, our land, that's desolate right now, but we also want him to heal this land. We came from the dust of the earth, we need him to heal this land. 
heal us. He said he will heal the land. And if we make that prayer often to y'all, he said his eyes and his heart will be with us perpetually. Sakes, we got to get back to seeking his face while he may be found and call upon him while he is yet near. It ain't no time to pray no patty cake. It ain't time to say, lay me down to sleep. You better get to praying. This warfare is real. This is a supernatural event taking place in the land. And you need to play, pray. Don't get caught up in what you see in this land. Don't get caught up in what you see on the TV. Stop watching so much TV. The scripture says in the Psalms, 101 or 102, I'm trying to remember which one it is. It says, I was set no wicked thing before my eyes. You don't put yourself in front of no TV that's programming you. That's why they call it the program box. It programs you. I don't watch TV like I used to. I don't do things like I used to. I don't uh, watch all that stuff. I you know when I watch sports, when I go to YouTube, I get the chance to see the highlights. I may watch a movie here and there, whichever one y'all lead us to. But I'm not overwhelming myself and overwhelming my mind with all this chaos in the land. They want to keep you blind. Do I know what's going on? Yeah, it's all over the Internet. I want to know what's happening. I want to be up to par on what's going on in the land. But the scriptures already told you what was going to go on in the land. He said, yeah, there's a lot of things going on in this world. But he said, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. You can't be of good cheer if you're watching a bunch of junk all the time. And your mind is caught up with a bunch of junk. You got to even get away from people that gossip. Get away from people that backbite. That doing all this whole money. Get away from people that do all this crazy stuff. Just want to live an outright sin. Get away from folks and get away, get the people that love the most out of y'all. I'm telling you, saints. I know a lot of us don't have a lot of connections like we used to have when we was in that Christian church. We don't have a lot of connections. A lot of fellowship going on, but look, do the best you can while you're on Facebook, while you're on YouTube, get to a channel and, and, and fellowship with one another. Fellowship with one another. That's how you keep the faith. You got to study his word. Y'all said seek your own salvation with fear and trembling. You got to go out to y'all for yourself. Seek his own, your own salvation with fear and trembling. That means you got to do this for yourself. I can't do it for you. No one else can do it for you. You got to do it for yourself. Saints, I love each and every one of you. And I'm telling you, I just heard y'all speak to me plain. He said, don't get caught up with all this stuff that's going on. Don't get carried away with every wind and doctrine in these different religions. Remember, there's people out there coming against us. Even of our own uh, race, they coming against us too. Our people, Some of our people have sold us out. And don't care nothing about it. Listen to these crazy coon bucking jokers on on uh, the internet and TV telling you who to vote for. Full of coonery. Look, I love y'all. Keep the faith. Continue to stand for y'all. Don't buy down to nobody but y'all. I love you all. Shalom. Thanks. Thank y'all for stopping by today to wake up y'all's real channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like the lesson that you heard on today and share it with someone that don't know anything about it or share it with someone that may know they just didn't get a chance to hear it today and also make sure you hit that notification bell that you'll be up to date on all the other lessons that are soon to come i love you all thank you shalom